Hey guys, it's Stanford here with First Updates Now, and today I'm with Team 3669 Carbon Knights, and they've got this absolutely incredible robot here at the uh, Aerospace Valley Regional, all built out of carbon fiber, super cool stuff going on in their arm, lots of cool programming tricks for their drivers as well, some suction, so I'm here with um, Ella, Trent, and Evan, and we're going to go through all the cool stuff they have on this robot on an episode of Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotics students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. If you're attending championships, come to the FUN and FRC Discord meetup on Thursday, April 20th from 11 to 11.45 a.m. in Conference Room 360 CNF on the third floor. We'll have games, giveaways, time to socialize, and a chance to meet the FUN and FRC Discord staff. Get a reminder RSVP on the FUN or FRC Discords, and we'll see you at championships. So first up, we're going to talk about the whole construction of this thing, so uh, go ahead and take it away. All right, so as you said, the entire robot, besides the... The drive system, the Mark IV swerves, everything except for that is either 3D printed or carbon fiber. So we're one of the only teams that do carbon fiber, and we make it in-house in in the building that we do our whole robotics thing in. We do it by getting these sheets of carbon and placing them on a flat table of, of glass, and then we put epoxy on it and we keep layering things on top of it, and then we vacuum seal it down to the table and heat it up so that it cures and sets and after that we can just cut it out really easily and make whatever shape we want we've made this huge piece we've made the smallest piece everything is made of carbon fiber and yeah so if you have if other teams wanted to start going towards a kind of construction like this what advice would you have for them uh, get a sponsor that does carbon fiber stuff we have composite envisions that is one of our sponsors. Start with little things and then work up to making your whole robot out of carbon fiber. Yeah, definitely one of the most unique and awesome robot construction uh, techniques I've seen in a long time. So next up we're going to be talking about this arm. So uh, Trent, go ahead and take it away. Okay. So uh, our arm is unique mostly in that it's a very simple construction. Um, uh, the Wrist and uh, pivot are all very uh, compactly integrated uh, into the gearboxes. And yeah, a lot of custom 3D printed parts to make it all work. The simplicity makes it very reliable and that's what allows us to succeed as a team. So, I think. And so I can see you've got some kind of other fancy like printed stuff in here and these bearings as well. Is that also um, a kind of carbon fiber 3D printing that you guys are running? Okay. Yeah, we print all our parts using the Mark Forge 3D printer with Onyx, carbon fiber and nylon. So yeah, our, it makes our robot even more carbon fiber. Uh, yeah. Well, we got carbon on carbon on carbon here. But last thing we're going to talk about is the actual software behind all the scenes that's making this running. So Ella, go ahead and take it away. So including the carbon fiber driving station, we have more of that. But uh, in let's see this arm in action, I guess. So we have an X keys keypad that we've programmed to uh, have arm set points. So I just need to push a button. So if I wanted to get a low cube, I just go like that and it has an automatic set point where it would pick up the cube at this location. So it can go mid and high with equal speed and equal reliability. Uh, and yeah, we have a toggle between cone and cube, so that'll help us as well. Uh, in addition for controlling the arm, we have a space mouse, which is a six axis, uh, three dimensional joystick. So uh, this will help me control the arm in all three dimensions. So I can tilt the wrist like this, I can go like that, I can bring it in out many different things. The Space Mouse makes it really easy. It's really intuitive. It's super easy to use and very nice. Uh, for our Swerve Drive, we just have a standard Xbox controller that we're using. We are a rookie Swerve team, so this is our first time doing it, but it's worked really well. We actually uh, coded the Swerve Drive from scratch, so we didn't use an online one. This is our own code, which uh, it works pretty much as effectively as the ones we've able to, been able to find online, so that's something that we're all pretty proud of as a team. 
Yeah, this is definitely one of the craziest robots, craziest control schemes. Super cool. Um, definitely one of the craziest robots I've seen in a long time. So uh, thank you guys for allowing us to interview you guys and see this very cool robot. Let the world see how you guys build this. So thank you and good luck with the rest of your competition season, guys. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash FIRST updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.